let y'all know when the rice is complete. Okay, okay, okay. And now we're back in for the main part of the meal, the meat, the protein. We need the following ingredients. We have a, we have steak. Um, this is just tender uh, sirloin steak, whatever. Um, I'm adding mushrooms to mine. I'm making a pepper steak, but I am adding mushrooms. So I like mushrooms. I have two green peppers and I have one white onion right there. So first off, we are going to prepare our, our countertop is prepared clean. Pretty clean. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot we also need a um, clean knife and a meat tenderizer mallet. Anyways, so as I said, our area has been cleaned. Now we are going to, um, I, just, I, I just like washing my hands, yeah? And I have um, Dr. Bonner soap in there, so it's like, your stomach has a lot of Bonner loads you know? So I like to just wash my hands, you know? Touch, you touch so many things. Just wash your hands, you know, before you move on. So, anyways. First, I'm going to start by um, preparing my peppers. I try to remember how power cuts, but Lord knows I end up going the passion way and cut in the way <laughs> that I can cut, you yeah. know? And I got, I don't be having the time to remember really. Cause I try and then it just doesn't, the first cut, you know, gets me wrong every time. So, no, I'm not a professional cutter or a chef at that, but I love to cook. So. Comes out great. It's always clean, good, nice piece. So, anyways, back to the pepper cutting. I'm cutting my peppers up. That part should not be there. So, just cut them up. You just decide what, they, what size you like them. I'm doing about a medium, and then I'm going to cut them into uh, two. kitchen or maybe still be in your kitchen sometimes and get into the mode where you're over here in a cooking show mode and there is not a camera or a person in sight but you are over here cooking to the audience of nobody yeah if not i've, I've been there <laughs> and done that because I, I don't know i just love to cook and i get into my watching, watching cooking shows i get into the mode thinking i'm on a cooking show over here turn that into a camera and I am going to swap to you all through the camera so we are almost done cutting up our peppers which was much easier once we figured it out the Howard way or the professional way he's the the closest professional I know doesn't show me as far as the chef wise so, and um, I'm gonna go in and cut my 
handy dandy white onion. And again, I can repeat. <laughs> Never been taught professional way to cut per se. I mean, I watch all the time, but you know, I do what I test. That, you know. So, no, <laughs> that ain't real, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna use this whole onion for sure, for sure. I'm just gonna do some giant chops. and just go I mean unless you got more saran wrap because right now I don't got no more no saran wrap so honey honey see that is going to do it this away okay. here Okay, y'all, so we're back. Now that I have reset my station and placed um, my onions, peppers, and mushrooms to the side, we are now, put my hair out the way, going to move over to the meat. And if you wanna claw through the meat, you are welcome to, because baby, you don't got to, um, you don't have to, uh, so I just ain't got a little tag on the back. It's just harder to get through that plastic, so. Mall if you wanna. Okay, got my babies upstairs. Their older brother is sitting with them in their room. And all I hear is Levi saying, Royal, Royal, Royal. That's Royal, their older brother. He said his name like five times. So. We're doing this to tenderize the meat. We you got some anger you need to get out? Wow! You better. No, don't go hit his car, girl. Wow! Hit that meat! number 55 of the royal that I had to go see why the heck is he calling his name so many times after we tenderize the meat we're going to take our knife and we're just going to cut it into some thin strips you see it's much easier when you cut it against the grain and you um after you you know hit it with the tenderizer um i'm going to cut that in those thin strips and come across and cut it one more time 
Okay. So the pieces of meat are about this size. So that's just going to be for that. I'm going to go in for the next one and do the damn same thing. Darn. Steak. Uh, I have a little bit of oregano right here. I'm trying to get in the good lighting. There you go. Sprinkle some oregano. And I can just, y'all, I know y'all like, where that rice at? That rice is cooking, y'all. Let me show y'all in a second how great it looks. Got the Mommy? fresh red peppers, yes. Oh. We're not gonna do too much of them. I too try. And that is Levi. Babe, back up. Okay, so adding crushed red peppers. We're adding salt, just some regular salt. peppers, salt, um, and soy sauce. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna let in black pepper, excuse me. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna add a little more. It needs to be a little too wet for this one. Okay, now that we have that done, we're gonna let this sit for a second. Now I'm gonna take y'all over to the stove where we can check out this white rice and we can start our um, onions, peppers, and mushrooms. Wash my hands up. And our white rice check. Yes, so this looks perfect, y'all. This is a great way to tell if your white rice is done. You see the holes in it. It is just looking beautiful white rice i remember guys if you're making two cups of rice you use four cups of water you're making one cup of rice you use two cups of water so just remember that tip write it down take a picture screen record whatever it is you need to do but remember that tip right? no rice cookers you cook your own rice okay so first thing we're going to do is add some oil to our pot okay 
Nice. So that is nice and very much hot. So now I'm going to add our mushrooms. You've seen me cut up before. There's the sizzle. You know it's hot, honey. Shake. Oh, Lord, the smell is just unique. Now I have my peppers and my onions right here in this bowl together. So now I'm just going to add my peppers and my onions. And now we're going to put on that marinade. But while it's marinating, I'm also going to add some more soy sauce to help it get nice and nice. Hand the baby fork, and I'm going to break up my onions. And I'm going to try my hardest for you. Know, so not break up the Be the first TV. I'm trying my hardest to first not to strip my pan, but I need to separate my onions. And honey, the best way to cook is with glass wine. I have a rice too. But mine's almost out. I'll get this more probably tonight. But anyway, I have some regular old chipotle oakley. Believe me, I've had cheap and expensive, baby. And I've had uh, cheap, been better tasting. Plenty, plenty of different. Um, Okay, you know, so say what you want, but now we are going to add our steak to our um, pepper, onion, and mushroom mix. You know, all the seasoning and soy sauce from the bottom. And we're just going to mix. Everything together on the pots. And we made our meat tender, so our meat is going to get tender. Period. I'm gonna put our top on and we're gonna let that sit. Now while we was going, I actually decided um, I couldn't figure out what um vegetable I was gonna make, but we have had a um well Howard no, he came up with this, whatever, but he mixed um some years ago, mixed broccoli and spinach together and when I say I love with it. Um so I decided to do that this time because I was two seconds away from changing my whole meal up about five minutes ago. I was like, oh I got broccoli, so I'm making broccoli. Oh man, I got broccoli to the beef and pepper, onion, and mushroom mixture, but I'm like, I was supposed to make I'm making pepper steak. Not no freaking uh beef and broccoli. So I decided to go ahead and toss some spinach in my broccoli so I could go ahead and get the whole thought of um, making damn beef and broccoli off of my damn brain. So with that being said, um, now we wait for our uh, meat to finish, our rice. Yes, y'all, the cooking is definitely, cooking is definitely a part of my I try to get the hell away from the rest of the house because it's hard to um, have any peace, clearly. I'm living in a house full of boys, so. I'm the girl of the crew. So I got to make it in. What is it? You know? Shout out to Dr. Sis. He helped me around. So now 
natural, baby. And with the um, the fact that you tenderize the meat before before you uh, started cooking, it doesn't. It's not, and the pieces are not that big. It's not going to need to be cooked too long. It really is. It's just not. We're now. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking that about. We're gonna give it about ten more minutes, maybe. I'm thinking about five though, because I'm not no. Um, like I, said, I like medium or medium rare. Thank you for the sound effects in the background. Oh y'all, it is looking great, and I'm really feeling like I'm highly about to turn up this. Um, yes, Levi. I say yes again and he don't say nothing and it'll be pointless with my me talking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna on in there. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Oh y'all, I try to, I seriously try to make cooking my peace. Like I really, really try to come and give it myself because I mean I'm not saying I'm stressed out or anything like that, but being the only um, woman or female inside the house full of boys, you know, that's how I go. You just be feeling like overwhelmed sometimes. They like rough, no not that. They always on the back. Maybe I was always mommy, 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 mommy. He ain't never ever seen an episode of um, Family Guy when Stewie was saying mom, 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 mom a million times. But best believe he got it down packed. You're gonna see, you gonna see the episode of Family Guy one day and think that they was copying off of him. That's theirs. <laughs> but everything is really coming to a close. I'm turning off my um, my uh, steak takes no time. Like tenderizing the meat, the size of the meat. You don't want to sit here and be cooking this 30 minutes later, and you're still cooking because that means you're you're overcooking the meat. It just is what it is. So, um, like I said, I had my broccoli spinach mix. I'm gonna let you all see my um, finished product of my pepper steak and my white rice, of course. And I'm going to plate it for you all. Make sure that is included in this episode at the end. So stay tuned to Be the First Kitchen. Ah, and pause, drop, stop, and go hit that like button, subscribe button. And if you're feeling it, share. You know, we'll take the link and be like, yo, watch them. Yo, you can cook up a meal. You my, you don't know how to cook? Yeah, watch this link. Be the first TV. They show you how to cook. You quick, fast, easy meal. That chicken you made the other day was kind of dry. Go learn how to cook that steak. You know? <laughs> I'm just playing. But anyways, please subscribe, like, share. Y'all watch this. Please subscribe, like, share to Be the First TV. Be the First Kitchen is going to be blessing you with plenty, plenty, plenty more. Um, cooking videos this is not this is the first or the last i mean this is the first but not the last it's the line it's going pretty fast y'all pretty fast all the noise in the world in our white rice beautiful i feel a little bit of time on top of that our main course is looking beautiful and i cannot wait to dig into and I will make sure to share um, my finishing plate with you all. I just want to say thank you so freaking much if you got to the end of this video for tuning in to Feed the Fergs Kitchen, Eating with the Fergs. That's what we're doing. You're feeding and eating with us. What's going on with Feed the Fergs Kitchen? I'm Passion. I'm out. Like I said, I'm gonna let you all see my plates at the end, so stay tuned for that. And I just wanna say, peace to the Middle East, baby. Stay blessed, y'all. Speak the first TV. Oh, hold up.